Career and technology programs. Take one. Career and technology programs have been around for almost a hundred years. Before it was called an apprenticeship, where a young man or woman who wanted to learn a certain trade, they paired them with a professional, whether it been it was a metallurgist or a professional chef or someone who, who was a woodworker, a metalworking person. It didn't matter what the trade was, a plumber, a pipe fitter, electrician, you could work and you, you would learn that particular trade. Well, it's, uh, it's benefited me because I learned a lot about vehicles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just working down here. And so schools were developed to teach different trades to kids, to young people, not just kids, but young people are those that were interested. And so they really boomed throughout after World War II, um, through, all the way through the, you know, the 50s, the 60s, and sometime during the 70s, the latter 70s, the numbers of schools that, that kept these programs, especially high schools, fell off dramatically. Whether it was funding, whether it was interest, um, I wouldn't know what that what what took place. Uh, but now, almost 30 years later, from or over 30 years from the 70s, very few schools have career and technology programs such that such as automotive or automotive and diesel or automotive collision and refinishing. And it's it's really a shame because our workforce is in high demand. Uh, auto mechanics has helped me, uh, taught me how to weld, and uh, it's taught me a whole lot about engines and how to wire things together and how to, I guess how to keep how to build my own truck. I attended TJC. I attended Texas A and M. I have that's where my bachelor's degree is from. I have a, a master's degree it's from Stephen F. Austin, and I have eight certifications from the University of Texas. They need people in the collision refinishing. That we need people in the the uh, the automotive repair uh, aspect. Of, of that particular industry. We need diesel technicians and, and, and air conditioning technicians and heating technicians. All types of, of transportation technicians are needed. The number is supposed to be stamped on the oil pan. It's, uh, they're gonna be 216 and 235. That way we can figure out which flywheel we need for this trip. You always think, as you get older, you go, well, I wonder if I had been a lawyer, or if I, could I have done that, or, or a doctor, or what if I'd done nothing? What if I'd have just hung out and played the system? But I always come back around to where I, I feel the most comfortable was, was teaching. The automotive program has opened my mind to uh, different automotive uses and tricks. Today or if it's 10, 15, 20 years from now. 
When I was in the fifth grade, Miss, I had a teacher named Miss Hill who took time with kids and it, and it impressed me so much. That's when I decided I would be a teacher. And you know, here's the thing. Nobody goes through life until they get past their teachers. Every doctor, every lawyer, the president of the United States, every, go every leader on the face of the earth has to be taught before they can ever get out in the world. Besides, you get the summers off. <laughs>